You may remember the subjects of our final story tonight. Steve Hartman first introduced them to us a few years ago. Kind of an odd couple, but the closest of friends. Steve caught up with them again on the road. At most zoos, it's the visitors who are excited to see the animals. But here at the L.A. Zoo, they've got an animal. Here he comes, Steve. Who loves this visitor. Mario. He knows I'm his friend. I'm late, Mario. When you realize that an animal has this unconditional love for you, what do you do? I'll be right with you. It's a conundrum retired salesman Dominic Erler first faced four years ago. Let's go, Mario. Back then, Mario lived in a public park, just one of many geese who lived here. But whereas the others pretty much stuck with their own species, Mario a had a different allegiance. So how was your night? They walk around the park together like they're in love. It's <laughs> wonderful. People would look at us like, what is this? What, they've never seen a guy walking with well, a goose before? Yeah, that's a pretty, much that's, the, yeah. The pretty much a fact. It wasn't that he fed the goose. He didn't even coax it. For whatever reason, Mario just liked him, started following him, and eventually even became protective of him. Be nice, don't bite the dog. And if you think that's devotion. Okay, come on. Look what used to happen when Dominic tried to leave. He'd take off on that scooter and Mario would be right there, right by his side. Obviously, this was a problem. On most days, Dominic had no choice but to turn around, go back into the park, and wait for Mario to fall asleep. Has it changed you in any way? Are you a different person in any way? I quit eating poultry. You did? Yes, I had no way. I used to think birds were dumb. This has changed all that. You look wonderful. After our story first aired, Beautiful. Mario got so famous, city officials took him out of the park and put him in the zoo for his own protection. Of course, that meant he couldn't get back to see his friend, which is why his friend now comes here. Mario. Virtually every morning for the past three years, Dominic has stopped by to visit. Mario couldn't be happier. But what's in all this for Dominic? Why would a guy devote so much of his retirement to a goose? Well, you know how I told you he used to be a salesman? Wait till you hear what he used to sell. I used to sell rotisseries that... You sold rotisseries? Called, yeah, that's if that's my atonement or whatever it is. Atonement for selling those rotisseries? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Steve Hartman, on the road. I'll see you tomorrow. In Los Angeles. I'll see you tomorrow, Papa. Is that okay? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.